Resorts built on volcanoes offer some of the greatest views and amenities for hundreds if not thousands of dollars a room. Costa Rica is one of the most beautiful vacation destinations in the entire world. The Nayara Resort Spa and Gardens is widely regarded as one of the best hotel brands in all of Costa Rica. One look at Nayara and it's easy to see why. It sits at the base of one of the youngest active volcanoes in the southern hemisphere. You've got volcanic mountains in one direction, jungles in another direction, and a gorgeous coastline just beckoning for you to take a dip beneath the waves. Each guest is stationed in their own private bungalow. They all feature cozy interiors, a private deck, and an outdoor shower. They all also feature the basic amenities you'd want, like a giant television, a bed perfect for you to dive into after a long flight, and a few scattered bits of furniture. Beyond that, it doesn't really have some of the added amenities resorts like this tend to have. Not that you'll want to spend too much time in your room, though. The place offers a ton of special features that any tourist would absolutely love. If you want to be pampered, Nayara offers plenty of love. Their spa offers all of the favorites like massages, facial treatments, and the like. More specialized treatments include ones using volcanic mud, which is said to possess healing properties. Then there are other treatments that feature Costa Rican volcanic stones. You can also have plenty of fun beachside. While the hotel doesn't offer as many beach amenities as other similar resorts do, Costa Rica is well known for having some of the best beaches in the entire world. As far as nightlife goes, it has a charming wine bar with a wide selection and plenty of atmosphere. That, on top of many different food choices ranging from a fully stocked free breakfast to several local favorites. More than anything else though, this hotel features a magnificent jungle view that really can't be beat. The resort is covered in gardens and lush greenery that you won't be able to see pretty much anywhere else in the world. If you want a more extreme way to enjoy the sights, you can also zip line through the jungle. Be sure to grab yourself a GoPro because it's so worth it for that kind of footage. You can also enjoy some pretty intense whitewater rapids. You'll want to get a GoPro for this too because you've got to show people how hardcore you are. Is there a better reason to hit the rapids than that? None of that is my favorite though. The spot also features several plunge pools that are fed by natural hot springs, offering lovely dips into steaming hot private baths. I don't know about you, but that gives me serious FOMO. So how does giving pretty much everyone else in your life FOMO cost? Well, if you snag a good deal, you can pick up a room for around $400 a night for a slice of paradise that you'll never forget, and that's a pretty good price. When you're looking at a volcanic landscape, it's really, really hard to top. These are some of the most beautiful examples of landscapes in the entire world, so it's really hard to compete with. Well, the Springs Resort and Spa at Arenal gives it a pretty good shot. Once again, this resort is located in Costa Rica. It is located by the Arenal Volcano, just 56 miles from San Jose. Though this resort may be the only one that could convince you not to look at any of this nature, with amenities like these, who needs a volcano? For starters, just look at this massive place. It is a 165 acre piece of property that is among the most beautiful resorts in the entire world. I'm not the one saying that either. CNN Travel is. They voted the resort one of the top seven resorts with the most spectacular view in the world. That's probably why they decided to shoot The Bachelor there too. These rooms can be pretty massive, like almost a vacation apartment. Huge natural wood rooms with marble countertop bathrooms, giant leather couches, and grand deck areas, some with ping pong tables or jacuzzis. Then there's the secret VIP rooms. Those aren't advertised quite as much, but they must be pretty amazing considering some of the major stars that the resort has pulled in. That includes the likes of Kim Kardashian herself. It might be worth the price just to bump into an A-lister on vacation. As far as pools go, I raise the idea that this is a great big lap pool with tons of screaming kids all over you. 
No, we're talking about 18 landscaped pools that are specifically crafted to make it seem like they were cut into the mountains themselves. This artificial landscaping is pretty normal for the resort. They have 25 natural mineral pools that are also sculpted to look like it's straight from nature. This continues throughout the resort with fake waterfalls, mountainsides, greenery, and more. If you do have kids, though, who want to scream their heads off at the pool, no worries. They have their own water slide like it's a frickin' water park. Kids and adults can also look forward to a putt-putt course, a games room, an on-site adventure center, river tubing, kayaking, horseback riding, rock climbing, and an animal sanctuary. Of course, adults also have plenty of nightlife options. There are a ton of bars throughout, many bars in the rooms, and incredible restaurants where you can have as much fun as you'd like. It's also got a pretty amazing spa. They offer massages in hot springs, mineral spring water soaks, finish saunas, and facials that can go for over $200. They have pampered some of the biggest celebrities that hang out in Costa Rica. Who knows, you might get massaged on the same table that Kim Kardashian did. So how much does a huge resort like this run you? Well, normal rooms can go for around 600 bucks. That's not the VIP price though. No telling how much the Kardashians dropped. If I had to describe the Celestia Grand Santorini in one word, it would be breathtaking. It offers some truly amazing panoramic views that will literally drop your jaw. The resort is located right off of the Caldera Cliffs on Santorini Island in the Aegean Sea, only 120 kilometers north of Crete in Greece. I mean, just getting to look at this part of the world with your own eyes is a five-star vacation, even without the five-star accommodations. Every single room features a spacious cliffside terrace offering that legendary view that you will definitely want in the background of your Hall of Fame Instagram selfies. These rooms are absolutely stunning. They are spotless white rooms with cool rounded hallways, spacious beds, and private pools. Due to COVID, they actually serve breakfast and some other meals right to the room, not even a special room service either. Now that's pretty nice. VIPs get access to even nicer amenities. They have access to private helicopters, their own boat tours, and other special guest services. They even get access to their own personal chef on demand. So which VIPs have stayed there? Well, you'll never guess. That's right, the Kardashians stayed here too. Apparently this was one of the family's favorite vacation spots ever. Man, they really dig volcanoes. There are a ton of ways to enjoy this volcano too. For starters, you can charter a gorgeous sailboat ride through the islands. Perhaps what's coolest is that you can actually swim inside the volcano itself. People love to post videos of themselves swimming through naturally heated pools. The thing that I would love to do most is take one of the chartered helicopter tours. This is truly the best way to get the ideal view of these islands. Of all of the locales we've seen thus far, this is definitely my favorite, so a bird's eye view would probably be my highlight. This volcano also has quite a cool mythical history. Its eruption in the 17th century BC may have given rise to the legend of Atlantis, that the eruption was able to sink an entire island under the ocean. So if you go diving, there's a good chance you could give Aquaman a high five while you're there. As far as what guests really loved, several of them called out the service. This is kind of weird because reviews are usually pretty quick to point out how terrible the service is, even if it's not that bad. Apparently the staff here goes above and beyond. Several of them even called out the same concierge, Nico, by name. I don't know what it is about Nico that's so amazing, but clearly he's the best in the biz. Way to go man, you deserve it. So how much does this paradise resort cost? Well, rooms here range from around $760 if you get a good deal to around two grand. You just know that the resort in Atlantis would go for way more. When it comes to a Hawaiian vacation right on a volcano, it's really hard to beat Volcano House. I mean, it's right there in the name. I mean, you'll be staying right inside the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. This is one of the largest volcano parks in the entire world. 
The Volcano House hotels date back to 1846. In 1866, the one and only Mark Twain actually stayed in the original hotel. It actually burned down in the 1940s. Before you get too excited, it was from a kitchen fire, not a volcanic eruption. I know, I was disappointed too. Today, what remains of that building serves as an art gallery, while a new building hosts guests. Driving up to the new spot, the place looks more like a standard cottage-style hotel chain. Think like a really fancy red roof inn. The rooms aren't the fanciest you'll ever see, either. Honestly, they don't look that much better than the kind you'd see at a red roof. It also doesn't offer much in the way of pampering or spa life. But let's be real, that's not why you go to a place called Volcano House. This hotel offers a ton of ways to enjoy the volcanic sites nearby. It is set next to two different volcanoes. One is Kilauea. It is one of the world's most active volcanoes. So active that the place had to be shut down a few years ago due to explosions of toxic gas and earthquakes. The other is Mauna Loa. It is the world's most massive shield volcano, which is a domed volcano instead of one shaped like a cinder cone. One of the coolest things to do is ride a bike through the steam vents. These are blasts of hot steam that happen when water hits the hot volcanic rocks. It makes for a very romantic, almost surreal ride. You can also get a glimpse of the lava tubes. As you can guess, these are tunnels made into the rocks by the lava. They make for beautiful and fascinating trails that ignite the imagination about the lava that cut its way through the rock. If you want to add some danger to your trip, perhaps the most extreme way to enjoy these volcanoes is to climb the railing. Just know that this is super dangerous. I mean, seriously, a man barely survived a fall inside this volcano just a few years ago. You can also go volcano boarding, which is about as crazy an activity as you'd expect with that name. At volcanoes like this, people hop on a board and plummet down the side like they're snowboarding. It should come as no surprise to you that there are a ton of stories about this going horribly, horribly wrong. If you want to not risk your life, it is also close to several amazing restaurants offering classic Hawaiian cuisine. Prices for this hotel usually hit around $300 a night for such a primo location. That might seem like a bit much for a more basic hotel experience, but once you get a look at where Volcano House sits, you'll be surprised it was so cheap. So if what you're really looking for is a volcanic vacation that really puts you right near the action, this might be the perfect spot for you. The Frost and Fire Hotel offers the best of both worlds. It's a gorgeous summertime retreat where you can take in the sunshine and go for a dip. It's also a stunning winter resort to take in the snow and to live it up like you're from that town and frozen. The rooms are pretty charming with standard white walls, plenty of seating for the family, and cozy beds. The resort also features a lovely dining area, outdoor seating, and a small lap pool. The surrounding area offers plenty of great things too. It is known for its hot springs and greenhouses. While they seem cozy in the summertime, the hot springs just look heavenly during the winter. The hotel advertises the nearby Hot River Cafe, which is a cozy little spot to get a coffee and a meal. Perhaps the greatest reason to journey to this part of the world is the natural phenomenon that you will be able to take in there. There you can look up into the night sky and see the Aurora Borealis, otherwise known as the Northern Lights. They may technically just be the result of disturbances in the magnetosphere, but they look like pure magic to me. As far as natural beauty goes, you can also take a tour through the Blue Ice Cave. It's a gorgeous cave covered in ice. It's a truly unforgettable sight that's hard to see anywhere else in the world. There's plenty of gorgeous nature underneath the water too. The crystal clear water is perfect for whale watching. You get taken out on a boat and sometimes get so close to whales that you feel like you could dive out and touch them. But, you know, don't do that. We've covered helicopter tours, hiking tours, and boat tours, but this area features an even cooler way to take in the trails. They actually offer tours by horseback to ride through the mountains. Of all the activities I've been researching, this by far has the most smiles. These people are having a blast. There's also a pretty silly growing trend in the area. While there are big golf clubs that offer a classic golfing experience, there's also a similar trend that looks like a ton of fun. It's become known for its frisbee golf. 
All it needs now is a Quidditch Cup and a Cornhole League, and it will have all of the truly silly modern sports down. So how much is the Fire and Ice Icelandic Paradise? Surprisingly affordable at prices as low as 200 to 400 bucks. Hotel Hansa is located in an area that's literally called Volcano Park. It is one of the greatest examples of natural splendor in all of Germany. The park, which was established in 1996, hosts all kinds of events ranging from silly Halloween celebrations to really sweet looking weddings. The daily activities the park features are one of a kind hiking trails, hot springs, geysers, and plenty of historical sites to see. By all accounts, it's a lovely area and one that you should be happy to stay so close to. One of the coolest ways to get in touch with the volcano is the lava cellar. This is kind of like touring a cave. You follow these tunnels and stairs deep into the volcano to get a good look at the natural artistry of the volcano's interior. You take your little headlamp and journey deep into the place, hoping that you don't run into like a balrog or something that far deep into the earth. The Anza itself isn't too bad either. Like the park it is so close to, the hotel is a quirky and cute location that is likely to put a smile on your face even if it isn't the classiest location you'd ever see. The rooms are cozy with big beds and extravagant colors. By extravagant, I really do mean extravagant. This is not the same cream and white color palettes that you usually see in modern hotels. Not at all. The breakfast is free and included in the room price. The hotel also features its own restaurant that will give you a taste of the local cuisine. Hansa Tal offers several Estonian dishes that include pork dishes, schnitzel, and soups as well as several mouth-watering dessert options. Then there's the town of Tartu which is about as charming as charming gets. From the stone streets to the cute little shops to the historical sites, this is the perfect tourist spot to lose a day in. If you want to make cute, romantic memories, this might be more your style than a four-star resort that will pamper you into a relaxation coma. Another big stop many make is to the Volcano Brewery. Tourists can schedule a tour of the brewery, but that's not really the main event. Evidently, the Vulcan Brew is legendary. Only one way to find out, right? You can also take a drive and visit the Andernach Geyser. It is the highest cold water geyser in the entire world. This geyser will shoot water up 60 meters on a good day. They even have the Geyser Experience Center, which offers deep insight and history into the geyser. So how much does this cute romantic vacation of your dreams cost? Well, the spot may be the best deal of the lot. The prices on these rooms go for as low as 70 bucks a night. That's an unbeatable price for the cutest vacation you're liable to take right next to a volcano. A resort reportedly costs, on average, around $20 million to construct. That seems like quite the gamble when it's right next to a mountain that could explode liquid hot magma all over your business at any moment. Hope you got lava insurance. 